let me come to the uh, subject of a uh, little chat. I mean, as I said, these are basically short interviews which we are doing with our speakers uh, at this conference. Mm -hmm. And I sent you two questions and let me repeat yeah. them for the yeah. benefit of the audience as well. Yeah. Uh, number one is what will it take for the world to come together to design a no strings attached recovery package to aid developing and least developed countries worst affected by the COVID-19 pandemic? Mm -hmm. Are these, are there some clues in the Marshall Plan designed in the aftermath of the Second World War? Okay, so you want me to answer these first questions yes. first, and then we'll go to the second. Then I'll go to the second. Okay, so uh, of course, this is a major question, uh, especially given that many countries on this planet are not yet out of COVID. And my simplest answer to your question, Tadik, is the following one. Uh, what we need is not a Marshall Plan. What we need is a vaccination plan. The real problem we have for the moment is this incredibly uneven rate of vaccination worldwide, which in my view is a major divide, whether you look at this morally, philosophically, or economically. What will slow the recovery of many countries and make it one or two or three years more than could be done is this vaccination gap. So my answer is, let's address this quickly, forcefully, collectively. And I must say that uh, reading the G20 declaration in Rome, I'm extremely disappointed. Now, my second question, Pascal, is uh, as we plan to build back better and differently after the pandemic, uh, this is, of course, subject to people getting vaccinations, which you're very right. How do we utilize lessons from globalization one uh, while not repeating the mistakes which resulted in widening inequalities, concentration of wealth and power? Well, my, my own view is that globalization two uh, will be different from globalization one. And it will be different in that it will be more difficult to do things together on this planet in the years to come, in the decades to come, than in the previous ones. And we know the previous ones were way from being perfect. We still had a lot of problems which we could not solve together. I think the years to come are going to be even more difficult. The addition of the Paris Peace Forum this year uh, has four things, mind the gaps. And I think we will have to cope with larger gaps, North South gap as a consequence of the pandemic crisis, uh, East West gap uh, with the US China rivalry, climate decarbonization gap, because we are doing it for the moment in an extremely heterogeneous way which will raise coordination problems. And finally, the digital transition, uh, addressing this problem of the uh, digital fracture, I think is also going to be very difficult, whether it's within or, or among countries. So all in all, more difficult, and for this reason, more necessary to coalize, uh, to cooperate. And I think given the lessons of globalization one, Globalization 2 must see a world where civil society steps in much more vigorously. States, sovereigns have shown not to be very efficient, so we all need to step in. I recall your call for polylateralism, uh, which is probably a way forward. Uh, uh, Pascal, last question. Uh, how do you expect it, the MC12, the WTO Ministerial Conference, which is going to happen in Geneva, end of this month, uh, to, to uh, sort of shape up? Well, uh, this Ministerial Conference uh, is an important one uh, because uh, it's the first of a new Director General, and it's the first since uh, Joe Biden uh, was elected in the US. Yet, I believe, uh, my expectations are extremely low. 
There may be a few advances in areas like fishery subsidies, in like services regulation, or uh, ITA for uh, least developed countries. Uh, but I think the real problem, which is that the US are not yet back in the WTO, uh, for reasons which have to do with domestic politics in the US, uh, is still a major issue. So. My expectations are reasonably low, although, although I think it will show a sort of re-commitment to advance part of the agenda of the, of the WTO, again, even if there is no major decision this time. Thank you very much, Pascal. Uh, that was very nice talking to you and look forward to seeing you at the conference 